Yeah, yeah, this is an amazing audience. We are live again. We're in one of the the, the biggest building in Boston, right? Am I right about this that? This is the tallest building That's in New England. Yeah. In the New England region, tallest building in Massachusetts. Wow, what an honor to have the opportunity to be here. And Jeff DeSocio has made that possible. Wow. That's amazing, isn't it? It is very amazing. Yeah, it is amazing. We had a conversation like almost two years ago on a podcast and here it is we're going to be doing this now he just walked out of an amazing social meetup well you tell us what you do my friend what i do, what <laughs> I do for a living yeah. right, so i have my own company amc business solutions we provide digital marketing it merchant services for uh, small mid-sized businesses but my passion really is connecting to people so i started my own group called mass professional networking hmm. mass is actually massachusetts professional networking so mass is short so I've run the group for about five and a half years now. We do monthly events all around Boston. Uh, Boston is a great city for networking. Uh, we have about 3,000 people in the group today. Wow. But there wasn't 3,000 here tonight. But, sure. Uh, you know, so it was, it was No, crazy. but it was great. Like it was it, you walked in and it was like a room full of people like just exchanging, right? It was la, 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 la. Did you meet him? How many people? Did you meet any good people? I did, I did. I met, uh, his name is Chris Rakino. Rakina, right? My apologies. Um, he's Chris. the Boston New Technology guy. Yeah, he's amazing. He was quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah he was quick. He runs a group of 20,000 people. <laughs> wow, could All you imagine that? Yeah. We have a pretty amazing tech scene in Boston, as you know. With, yeah. Uh, big startup, organ a lot of startups. And uh, Chris runs actually an event that we call it the IT or the technology shark tank. Wow. Where you have about seven companies go up, pitch their product, and then you have investors in the room and all that. So yeah. it's pretty and good. I, I was fascinated by the humility of this guy. Like He was just so simple, so cool. Yeah. A supporter. He's definitely a supporter, just like you are, aren't you? You're a supporter of communities. Is that accurate? Yes, I do. I do. I, like my, my joke about my name's DeSocio and my blog's DeSocialConnector.com. Yeah. Because what my goal is to connect people to people. Um, I do a lot of presentations on business networking in the area. And one of the biggest things is, I don't know if you ever heard that book by Gary Vaynerchuk, Give, Give, oh, it's like jab, 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 right hook. Yeah. If I say, say, give, 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 then take. Yeah. So you want to be able to give your, your expertise or that connection that would help somebody out. Yeah. That's why I started the group. It works too. And I've found that it isn't even, if I could put it in a certain way, I've found that it isn't even take. It's like give, 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 and then it's given back to you, which yeah. is fascinating. Like, I've seen so many people give back yeah. in ways that I wouldn't even expect. And today is an example of that, right? Yeah. So I've given on the podcast, give, give, and here it is. You said, hey, swing by, you know? Oh, come by. Yeah, yeah like, you, like you had, you're in Boston. <laughs> you, had to come, you had to come to our yeah. event and... Uh, I'm so glad, we, glad you have, you're in our city. Yeah. You got yourself some Mike's pastries. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that here. Oh, but, well, yeah. This you know, is. This we is have like some good pastry shops in, in Boston and all. And, uh, you know, I think you're going to meet some amazing. I, mean, I know you're only here for a day or so, yeah. but you will meet some. Hope you met some great people. I today. did. I did. I did. It was fascinating. One of the segments we like to cover is your own unique real shoes. All right, and your own unique real shoes. Let me see your shoes. All right, sure. so he's wearing some really nice shoes, right? Some black shoes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what happens is people see your shoes and do exactly like I did, right? Say, mm -hmm. wow, those shoes are amazing. But sometimes they aren't able to see the struggle, right? The challenges that you would have had to interact with to yes. walk in those shoes. Share with us at least one of those struggles that you've encountered over the last three years with what you're doing. The biggest struggle, and I'll say this as an entrepreneur, is always finding the, you know, the right clients. Yeah. And usually when you grow any business, um, you know, you're going to have great days and you're going to have bad days. You're going to lose that client, you're going to lose that connection. But I think it's always to get through that is what those are the people that survive. Now, of course, in Boston, you can always say your bad days, you get a car accident. Because it's quite a, quite a few of those. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think all in all, you know, and I, I've lived both lives. I, I live in corporate America where you, know, you have a job and you go home and you watch American Idol on TV. Yeah. Right? But when you're an entrepreneur, it's a whole different world. You're going to have those bad days. Hmm. And I think that having the thick skin, getting through those bad days, you know, you know take 
if anyone criticizes what you do, take it with a grain of salt and listen to them. And I think that's where you get through those bad days that I've had. Yeah. You know, I believe in I have had some events that, you know, 10 people show up. Yeah. I've had some events that 200 people show up. But, you know, you always learn from that. So I always like to say bad days. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, I've had events and there's something with the numbers on events, right? Like, like you really feel sad when 10 people show up for your event, right? How did you get through that? Well, you know, this is an interesting thing. You may have 10 people at an event. You may meet your two best connections than an event that you have a hundred people yeah. and you have no good connections. Yeah. So you know, I sell websites. One event I went to, ten people were there, but I got two website sales. Wow. And a week later, I went to one with a hundred people. Not zero. One. Zero. Yeah. <laughs> a couple of beers, and that was about the end of that network. Yeah. <laughs> It's pretty amazing. Uh, I use the word amazing so much. I do too. Yeah, because That's life big, is amazing, life's right? Life's amazing. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Yeah. You have to look at from that. You know, the positive outlook on life is important. Yeah, we always have to have that. Yeah. So. so tell me, you heard that this guy from the Caribbean was coming to visit, right? What did you think? I thought that you are an honest go getter. <laughs> when I see the map that you're going to, you know, tour the United States and Canada. I think that's aggressive. You're world famous now. You yeah. realize that, right? I did not realize You're that. You're a world famous guy. I, I mentioned Ingle Jones and some people that are like, really? The guy from Trinidad? Wow. Yeah, so that's that's impressive. Yeah. You're on a, a beautiful island, right, in the middle of the Caribbean Sea. Yeah. And you're coming to Boston and you're a known commodity now. Yeah. So I think that was a great, um, it's honorable that you've done that. Yeah. And, and that you're able to uh, meet some of the people that you met well, Jeff, Virtually. like seeing you here, right? Yeah. Like this, this for me, this is fascinating. It is. Because, you know, we did voice to voice only, but to, to see the power of a conversation then, and that is what you're doing through your networking. You're, you're solidifying conversations to create business, exactly. you know, and good business, great businesses. And it's powerful to get to see that because it's not, it's like the wind. Yeah. You don't see the wind, but you feel it, right? You feel it. Especially around here in the winter. You come here in the winter. Yeah. It's a whole different ball game. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, well I, I think we... Like, I have my, my thing here. Like, it's been cold, my friend. Uh, so I can imagine cold? what that feels like. No, it's too bad. It's too bad uh, you're not here after Saturday because we're having a heat wave. Okay. So I'm in the 90s. Okay. Saturday through next week. Yeah. So yeah. it does get hot up here, but just it's only for about a month okay all right well my friend tell me what are you excited about what am i excited about so i'm excited to grow my group but i'm more excited about my future vision for myself and my family my wife um so you know i'm still in corporate america i still have a day job i run an it organization hmm. i also have my, my side hustles my businesses yeah so my goal is to be financially independent in five years sweet well having a go to a desk job and all that. So I'm excited about that. I'm also excited about, you know, I'm actually growing a, a group in Florida now that's similar to this group. I have a person down there starting events. So I want to be able to contribute my expertise and networking to, I know, a wide audience. So yeah. I'm excited about that too. It'll be good to do something like this in the Caribbean, right? Exactly. We'll have to start a group in Trinidad. Yeah, right? I think the Caribbean needs something like this, most definitely. I love that idea. Yeah, you heard it live here today. What's the date today? The 27th? Thank you. 27th? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. All right, my friend. Well, before we leave, before we close, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? Definitely follow this guy. Was it uh, hashtag 12 min convos right there? He's a great guy. I'm so happy to meet with him. Uh, come up to Boston, look, look me up if you're up in Boston, come and visit, it's a great city, lots of history, lots of great food, Yeah. Right? and uh, great schools and all that, so definitely come up here and look me up. Love it. Well, Jeff DeSocio, thank you for being on What Is Inspired. So far, every time I've had this guy on the podcast, he gets to the point, like he doesn't waste time, he's filled with content and then he, get, he delivers it. I can't get him up to 12 minutes, it's really challenging, the last it's podcast. Well, no, it's not, because yeah. it feels like 12 though, because yeah, it it's does. filled with content, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We could talk about something just to break the record, sure. to get you up to 12. Okay. Tell me about your wife and how she plays a significant part in your life. 
my wife is uh, actually taught me because I was an introvert, you know, and I kind of I would was, not believe you would that. not believe that today. She taught me to care for people. She's very, uh, you know, inspirational. She's very sweet, and she's nice. She's you know church going. You know, she got me to go to church. Yeah, believe it or not, and. Uh, she really taught me how to interact with people in the right way hmm. and not be so businessy. So that's why I started my, you know, she's one of the reasons why I started my networking group. Yeah. Because I wanted to give back. I want to, you know, I'm not, I didn't, I don't think I mentioned where I worked once to anyone here tonight. So I want to make sure they're okay. I was thinking about that other person. Hmm. And that's what my wife brought to me. Wow. And there we go. That was definitely worth the extra minute. <laughs> Jeff, my friend. You're the, you're the man. Yeah, you're Enjoy the your man. trip and be safe and stay in touch. I appreciate that. Thank you, Aunt Eagle. Thank you, amazing audience, for sharing this time with Jeff DeSocio. Thank you. Thank you. Boom. Boom.